Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to find the amplitude, the period, the phase angle, and finally graph the problem. Now this one has just a little bit of everything in it, and again, before you can actually start working with it, you have to factor out a 3 so that you make the function look like that. Yes, indeed, 3 is what we call the period factor. It'll determine the number of periods in a 2 pi um, length on the x-axis, but it will give you the wrong phase angle if you don't factor out the 3 first. So let's do that. So we end up with a function that looks like y equals 2 times the cosine of 3 times x plus, and when you factor out a 3, this becomes pi divided by 12. Notice when you multiply this times this, you get 3 over 12, which is 1 fourth, which is the same thing again, and of course you need the minus 1 over there. So now you're ready to go ahead and find the amplitude. The amplitude is 2. The period will be equal to 2 pi divided by 3 which is equal to 2 thirds pi. And then finally the phase angle, the phase angle is equal to pi divided by 12. Now in this case, the whole function will be shifted to the left because it's plus pi over 12. And of course the whole function is also shifted downward by one because it's the whole function minus one. All right, so what that then looks like is as follows. So here we have the y-axis, here we have the x-axis. Uh, notice that the whole function shifted downward by 1, so if this is negative 1 right here, we're going to draw the function relative to this line, not relative to the x-axis. Now you see that the whole function shifted to the left pi over 12. Okay, let me move this over here, minus 1. And so let's say that this here is pi over 12. Okay, so the function is going to start from that. It's a cosine function, so it starts at the maximum amplitude. Since the amplitude is 2, it'll start 2 above this line and, and go down to 2 below this line, so it'll go to minus 3. And uh, yes, negative 5 over 12, thank you. And over here, it'll be plus 1. So it'll bounce back and forth between plus 1 and negative 3. So the cosine function will start at its maximum value, and I made these a little bit too long, maximum value at this point right here, and then we have a complete function like that. So it will look, let's see here, the period is 2 pi divided by, uh, where are we? 2 pi divided by 3, so that would be 120 degrees. Let's see here. So this is equal to, um, let's make this pi, and let's make this 2 pi, and let's make this pi over 2. So 2 thirds of a pi normally would be about here, right? So this is a half a pi. 2 thirds would be about here. So that would be 2 thirds pi. But the whole thing is being shifted to the left by pi over 12. So 2 thirds pi is the same as 8 twelfths pi, like that. And since it's shifted to the left by 1 pi over 12, so then I want to find the place where it's 7 pi over 12. So it would be right about here. So this point here is 7 over 12 pi. And so going from minus pi over 12 to 7 pi over 12, that's a total period of 8 pi over 12 or 2 thirds pi. So this distance right here is 2 thirds pi. And that will then consist of a single period for the function, which means we start at this point right so here. So the function is going to look like that. That's much better, and of course, and it continues on like that, and on like that, and so forth. And so then, of course, in a 2 pi distance, you would have a total of 3D cycles of the function. Anyway, that's what it looks like. A little messy, but there it goes. That's, what, that's how we do that.